Hello everybody, welcome back to some more nuclear throw. We're jumping in again this time. I think I'm gonna play as robot and see. Uh, we start with flamethrower as robot, so hell yes, I am jumping in. I know it's been a while since I played, I apologize. Um, nuclear Throne is unfortunately one of those games that can often get a little bit sidetracked because um, I'm playing other things or stuff, in, stuff during life gets in the way. Of course, as anyone that is subscribed to this channel will probably know and have known for quite a while is um, Finding of Isaac takes priority. So, um, I, I always make sure to backlog that when I can, but Nuclear Throne, as much as I enjoy playing the game, doesn't quite get the same love sometimes. So I apologise about that to people that really enjoy the series, because I, I do thoroughly enjoy it as well. Um, it just does sometimes get backlogged, and last weekend, I unfortunately had to um, go home to see my family for um, a funeral. So, it unfortunately got um, kind of sidetracked, so it is what it is, though. Um, da -da 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 -da. I don't think Eagle Eyes does anything to the flamethrower, but it's pretty good nonetheless. It might, it might, it might like slightly focus the flames. Maybe, uh, maybe it does actually. I can't a hundred percent tell. Heavy crossbow air leap is fantastic. Like j just look at that that we just managed to do there. I should really be eating stuff when I can, but as Robot, as many of you know, I just play him for his passive ability of better weaponry, and we've already seen that come to fruition with the heavy crossbow there. And we, we already saw Bolt Marrow, so I don't think that'll be popping back up anytime soon, but I would 100% take it if it pops up again, because, yeah, Bolt Marrow um, plus heavy crossbow. Quite the combo, I have to say, quite the combo. But yeah, the flamethrower is honestly something that... I underrated for such a long, long time. Now, I gotta say, I think I feel like the golden flamethrower is a little stronger because the gold weapons do usually have a little extra something, something like fire rate or a little bit more damage or something. I watched a video about like all the base game vanilla ones. So there's a blade gun here. Oh, balls! I, I took it with me back. Um, so insomnia here. I'm not sure. I'm guessing that. Blade gun is one that can hit me, so I'm gonna be careful about that. Right. Insomnia didn't end up doing too much for us there, but I like taking it for the police later on, because it means that the police spawn in asleep, which I find really funny, to be honest. Shotgun rifle. Ooh, um, yeah, do you know what? The flamethrower's been good to me, but the shotgun rifle seems really interesting. I really like shotgun type weaponry, um, and one with a bit more range. Oh, I see. Okay. So it's got like a pretty accurate shotgun blast. That's actually due to um, eagle eyes. Um, and then it also fires a, a rifle spread as well. So it's a combination weapon. I didn't realize that. At first I was like, oh, that's a really accurate shotgun. I didn't make the connection that I, that I got eagle eyes earlier. I like that. That's cool. Oh, did that guy just slice me right through the wall? I think he did. Plasma gun there. It's okay though, he won't get me again. He wouldn't dare. Like I said, look, the police spawn in a sleep, which is super nice. Oh dude. That was that was a slightly fucked situation there. The police officer was in a pretty gnarly spot for me there. Okay, there's some health finally. Some more health there. Add a bit of ammo. Lovely. Okay. We managed to get ourselves projectile speed. Oh, there's Bolt Marrow as well. It came back. It came back. Very nice. Um, we're just going to carry on straight away here, but taking Heavy Crossbow with Bolt Marrow, especially with Insomnia early on, that's going to be really good. Um, let's take care of all of them first. Yeah, grabbing Lightning on this is something that I think is going to give it a little bit more of an oomph. Oh, dude, that was a pretty good shot that guy got on me there. Yeah. I'm going to back away from this situation just a little bit. I always forget how crazy the inverted version of Big, um, big Dog is. Yeah, we got him there. We got him with a crazy explosion. The Ion Cannon. What does the Ion Cannon do again? Uh, that's good, but I like a little versatility with a shotgun rifle here. I need to be really careful with my current HP. Um, I could go with Last Wish. Um, nah, let's go with the 30% fire rate increase for the uh, crossbow. It's going to be good. 
Yeah, some of these enemies seem, seem to still be able to move when they're asleep, which is a little suspect. Not quite sure what that's about. Right. This is a fairly tough area, but I think we have the weaponry and the means to do pretty well at this, so I don't think we have much to worry about. Just take as much advantage as we can of the insomnia while it's available, because... Yeah, that's going to be huge. I love the fact that they spawn in the sleep. It's hilarious. I missed out on some, um, some health there. There's some more. Go through here instead, because we'll be able to get an upgrade through this. Swarm? I think we'll go with Swarm, yeah. We also got a bubbler here. Didn't expect that. Heavy crossbow is looking pretty stacked already. Lightning and um, Swarm on that thing. Swarm is, is obviously pretty good to go with any um, crossbow-based weaponry. Okay, so be a little cautious here, but I think we should be pretty much fine to kill this guy pretty easily. It can be a little tricky just because of the crazy amount of fire that he shoots out. But he does give you, um... There you go, I was going to say, he gives you quite a lot to go with. Oh, that was, that was really good, that. Really good. Um... I think I'm gonna go with Bloodlust here, just just as a just in case. Okay, so we're now onto the slightly harder enemies area. See these guys have a bit more HP. They've been able to survive a full big old crossbow shot and the lightning that comes after it. So, Auto Flagon. Do you know what? Auto Flagon could be kind of good. You all go down good. Not too worried about you. I'm quite worried about you, actually. Fucking hell. Energy sight? Eh. I don't know about that. Energy sight could be good, but I'm not quite sure. Okay, through we go again. Last upgrade. <clears throat> we go with Kraken or Morph. I think we definitely go with Kraken here. Ooh, the frost blower. Frost blower is pretty good actually. There's the auto seeker pistol that uses the same ammo, I think. Yeah, it does. Oh, here we go. Treasure cats here. Not great positioning, really. Um, yeah, I could easily die to this fella. Just because we don't have the ammo to really deal. But we managed. We managed. Okay, that was that was a little scary because our ammo was getting real scarce there, and it still is very scarce. Frost blower. It is. We might be dead here. Yeah, unfortunately, lack of ammo. I was trying to eat my frost blower to see if it could give me the ammo I needed. But it just want it, like you gotta hold it down, and I forgot it changed that. Not great. Not not a great start there. Not a great start. That was a good run. I really like what we had going on. I'm definitely gonna try and replicate something similar. But unfortunately, that just what that one wasn't it. That one was not it. Oh well. We will, however, take um, that Bolt Marrow again, because I'm, I'm, I do really love Bolt Marrow runs, especially with some of the crazy weapons you can get in this. Let's take the Inversion Magnet here to go some of the uh, upside down flaws. Inversion Magnet, not too good on its own, but it helps to spawn the um, inverted areas. And they can be really good for upgrading your weaponry, so I like that quite a lot. <clears throat> so we should get an inverted floor this time around somewhere. Good, good, taken out. Yo-yo, yo-yo gun technically is a um, bolt marrow affected weapon, so I'll take it. While it's not super good right now, I don't think, I think single yo-yo is kind of like meh. Um, it should do decently. 
But unfortunately, no inverted floor this time around. We should have gotten one, but I guess inversion magnet doesn't always work. Don't touch the frogs. I will try not to, good sir. Maybe you've got to kill an enemy with it for it to count. Do that yo yo just zoomed right past that rat. The yo yo's are pretty nice. It can normally hit two or three enemies, sometimes more. Super yo yo gun. That seems pretty good. We got an inverted floor over here, look. Good, good. Ammo wise, we're not really ready for this, though. I don't even know what the uh, inverted rats do. I imagine it's not good. Maybe they just deal a lot more damage. I'm gonna try and take him out with the inversion magnet to start with at least. Why? The last one alive, dude. Okay, that wasn't too bad at all. We do need some more ammo coming in, like, pretty badly. Um, I think we probably want to go for this. 40% more ammo and uh, health drops. Oh, we went to YVs. I didn't realize this led to YVs. That's cool. I love YVs. Oh, fuck. I just took a rocket to the chin. Golden Glove unlocks. Decent. I think we should take the Golden Glove. Oh, to so the Invert- Would this take us to Inverted YVs? It does. I've never been to Inverted YVs before. I don't know- I don't really know what- what treats we're in for here. Golden Jaw Splitter? Ooh, yeah, Jaw Splitter's a pretty good one to take, I think. We already have Bolt Marrow, so... Take the yo-yo gun. And this will mean both ammo drops from the same gun. For the same ammo type, which is nice. Good, good. Yeah, I love that. Okay, okay, we got something interesting going on now. Something really interesting going on. Um I think we'll take the strong spirit here. Keep ourselves alive a little longer this time around, maybe. Here we are over here already. Look at that. It just eats through an entire crowd. I love it. That just kind of went through, straight through him. Getting it to feel the wrath. Yeah, I saw you coming. The accelerator. Eh, I don't think we need that. I, I'm, I'm really happy with what we got right now. Oh god, my mouth tastes so garlicky right now. Uh, we can go. We can go with flame again, or I guess we just take it on this. Uh, there's a dude like on top of me here. Okay. That was a little scary there, but we got through it. Still, still being quite scary, to be honest. The scariness has not ceased to exist quite yet. Bleacher. That was, that area was, was hot and heavy. Scarier face is going to be good here. I've never fought Inverted Machine either. We're out of ammo, so I'm taking the tear my gun. I have absolutely no idea what this thing does. But, it seems pretty good to me. Oh, I wanted to use that. God damn it. Okay, so the termites are just like little things we fire and we go and find a target and eat them. 
I still think the yo-yo guns can be our main gun, but it's just the ammo consumption on this thing is pretty hefty. Quadruple director shotgun. That could be pretty... I'm going to stick with that. I know that we're not getting any benefit out of their uh, thingy. I don't know, though. The yo-yo gun's so good for the ammo consumption. I suppose this thing consumes more ammo, so maybe... Eh, maybe not the best choice, actually. Consumes just as much, if not more. Not quite what we're looking for at this time. So we just need more ammo drops. But this does a really good job, though. Which is, like, it's pretty hard to aim. <laughs> pretty hard to get it to go where you want it to go. Um, impact wrists is always fun. We'll take that. We'll exit straight away. We've not been to any of the other areas yet. Back over here again. Oh, Cheshire Cat's here already. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, damn, it got me. Oh, come on. I was hoping it would die after I died. But I'll give it another go. Give it one more. As Mr. L. Roboto. We got the Slugger. Good old Slugger. The classic Slugger. It's weird seeing, like, vanilla weapons. <laughs> we got so many weird, wacky ones in there. But you see a vanilla one, you're like, excuse me? Excuse me, game? How dare you give me something from the, from the actual game? Maybe I'll take the um, the triple and maybe go for eagle eyes if I can if I can swing it. Triple's not one that I often play around with, but pretty good with eagle eyes at least. Pretty good without it, but it just consumes too much ammo. A little spear launcher here. Oh, that's it. We're good. We're looking for eagle eyes really, so but we'll take that first. Um, and we'll take impact wrists, just because I, I, I fucking love impact wrists with uh, this setup. It's so fun. Toxic assault rifle. Dangerous as all shit, but a lot of fun. Just gives our, our, our um, assault rifle a bit of AoE, doesn't it? Which is quite fun. <laughs> I mean, anytime you can add AOE into something, it's something that I can get down with. It's something that I can get interested in. Oh, balls. Very nearly killed myself already. I said I could get down with it. Not too good at getting down with dying. I've just got to be a little more aware, because the little poison pockets can hang around for significantly longer than you expect sometimes. Lightning screwdriver. I'll take the lightning screwdriver. It's not a um, not an ammo consuming one either, which I'm surprised at. Um, duh, 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 duh. Let's go with glass cannon, considering we're already low on health here. Try and get some extra damage out there. I just like the way that it opens. It, it like. Bouncing all the corpses around opens up, like, the whole area. Opens up everything. And obviously the extra damage that you get around it as well is quite nice. But really, the, the, the key thing for me is just, like, giving you more space. I think this game kind of thrives, uh, in terms of its difficulty, kind of thrives on making it claustrophobic. Keeping it quite close quarters and keeping you having to be on your toes a certain ways. Ooh, I've, uh, I've not done well with that guy, have I? <laughs> I mean, it's still killed him, so it's fine. I should not have fired directly at that guy. Scythe? Oh, oh. I always forget how cool the scythe is. Does good damage, too. <laughs> okay. I really want to get this with, um... With the long arms. Because I think this could be a lot of fun. Uh, what's left? Probably down this way, right? No? Okay, must be up, up must be up over there. Wasn't expecting that. Nice. Exit 
straight away. Yeah, I might, I might, I might try and build towards the scythe, actually. And I could think that could be a lot of fun. Just because we've got this, like, it's like you've got a force field. We can swing at enemies and knock them all away. Also, seems really good at knocking back shots. Makes it sound like it's just a heavy drinker. As in, like, shots of booze. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Oh, you want to go, son? You want to go? Head to toe? So many crows about it. fucking land. Too many crows. Where's the last one? Oh my god, there's like I said, there's one crow. All the way down here. Watch I'm gonna walk over here, it's gonna fly away. Oh no no, it's staying around. Nice, okay. That was tedious. Give me long arms. Um, I think fire rate is probably a good idea. Increase primary fire rate by 30%. That's just going to be we can swing faster. Yeah, we definitely can. Right. Yeah, this, this with um, impact wrists is so fun. Nice. Oh, there's an inverted floor over there, damn. Who's onto that? I don't really know if this is the best strategy using melee on this guy, but I'm gonna try it out. Yeah, it worked. It worked pretty well, actually. Level six, come on, give us long arms. Give us long arms. Damn, son. Uh, we'll definitely go with scarier face, though. Even more damage output. Make the sight even more deadly. I think the frost shotgun is a great secondary. You can freeze enemies if they get too difficult. Sword gun. I did just take quite a lot of damage there. Thank God for the healing. Very short floor there. Areas like this where everything's just chaos is so fun. Absolute chaos. Oh, some explosions going on down there. All right, who's over here? There we go. Okay, out of here. We're out of here. We can actually upgrade this thing now. I wonder what upgrades would work on this. Flame? I mean, projectile speed does nothing, so flame it is. I don't know what projectile speed would possibly do for this, but there you go. Ooh, I kind of forgot we'd be going against Little Hunter here. Don't you dare do it, sir. Okay, we got him, we got him. I just gotta get some healing slash not die. Okay, there you go. There's some healing. There's some not dying. Skin is crawling. Okay, we're starting to get to phases where enemies aren't being one shot, which is very scary. Hopefully that'll be supplemented with all the enemies bonking and bouncing around there. These bloody bats are an absolute pain. Oh my god, they all just exploded to a crazy bomb. Really still didn't get it? Um, go with Tough Shell. Tough Shell can help a lot with our lower HP. Good. Can't deflect those at all. Them guys blowing up is rather nice. 
Go with the quadruple machine gun to take out the boss. I think we'll need it. Who's left? Oh, uh, it is the boss that's left. Yeah, there you go. I thought we'd need that. <laughs> Come on, give me long arms. You know you want to. Oh, damn. Okay, that guy just walked right into me. Anyways, I think we're going to leave it there for this episode. That was a lot of fun. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.